Hello and welcome to this video about how to install VPN on your Synology the right way. So first thing that you're going to have to do is to connect to your Synology, go to the package center and install VPN. Once installed, it'll give you an option to enable all the ports on the firewall for for all types of VPN. Do not allow this at this time. I'll explain later. Cool, go open. And we've got now three options by default in Synology that we can use. Three types of uh, protocols and types of VPN. First one is PPTP or point-to-point -point, uh, transport protocol, which is one of the oldest ones it's used in Windows, it's really not very secure, I would not use it, I would not recommend you using it. L2TP or Layer 2 Transport Protocol is a protocol that doesn't offer encryption on its own, hence it's always used with a combination of something like IPsec. Again, it's not very secure, it's used in data centers because it's quite reliable and quite fast, but without encryption where you have node-to-node -node sort of, uh, but there are better ways now as well. So we're left with OpenVPN. OpenVPN is a open source project, they've got the commercial version as well, but it's a fantastic pro product, not as heavy on, on the CPU regarding encrypting and decrypting the traffic and it's very reliable, uses an agent on your computer. So we'll set that one up. So let's go to the OpenVPN. Let's take Enable VPN Server. So your network has one IP address, whatever it is, 192 or 172 or 10 dot, but your VPN will have another network, another type. So by default it's 10.8.0.1. I'll set my to 10.0.0. If your network at home it's 10.0.0 as well, do not set this, set it something else. Set a different subnet, six or five or whatever you like, it doesn't really matter as long as it's not the same. Maximum connection number on my 916 plus is uh, offers five and maximum number of connections with the same account is three. I would probably have even less, but if you have a phone and a mobile device like laptop or iPad, three might be appropriate. Default port is 1194, we'll leave that in place. Protocol is UDP, encryption AES-256, that sounds good, authentication SHA-512, that sounds good as well. Uh, enable compression on the VPN link, Sure, lower traffic, that sounds good to me. Allow clients to access service LAN. So this means that if once you connect to your VPN, you'll be able to access your devices on your LAN where your Synology lives. Otherwise, you'd be only able to access your Synology. So I'm going to enable that because um, I think it might come handy. So I'll go apply. This will enable it and it'll give me a warning that I need to open this port. And that's what I wanted because I don't want to open all the other ports for um, PPTP, OLT2P, which is 500 and 4500 and 1723. Sorry, 1723 is SSTP. So let's go to the control panel, security, firewall, Added rules. If you don't have set up your firewall, check out my previous uh, video about security where you can learn more about how you can secure your Synology and firewall in more detail. So we go create. We can use the pre-selected one because it, it is already there. And if we expand this, 1194, perfect. Source IP allow, yep. Now we just need to move move it about all above all the deny. Perfect. So now we have access. Fantastic. Back to the VPN. We need to export the configuration. So let's export it and save it into the file. 
I'm currently connected to my local network, but I'll disconnect shortly. In the file that we have just downloaded, we'll extract all the data. And in README, it provides all the information that we need to do. So we need to change the um, for connecting to Windows. Install OpenVPN client on Windows. So it'll tell us the address where you can download the client. We'll go there and get the client. If you have Windows, you get the Windows. This is the latest version. I have already downloaded. Uh, download the Windows installer. That's the easiest version. But let's get back to that file. Second step is run it as administrator. So we'll install the file. And run it as administrator. I'll just leave in all the defaults. It does install a new network, so you have to confirm it. Um, online it's already been done, so I don't have to do that anymore. Okay, second step is you need to edit your VPN config.openvpn that came in that zip file. So that's this bad boy over here. And as you can see, the fourth line says remote your, I, your server IP and port 1194. So we need to edit that. Perfect. And second step. If your this station is behind the router, replace your IP server with the router's IP. So whatever is your uh, destination and remove the hashtag before redirect gateway def1 so we need to remove this save the file and put vpn config .open VPN into config directory under the directory um, there's another method that you can do so if i run open vpn it'll pop an icon on my desktop I can just do right click, import file, look at the file in my downloads, open VPN, config. It says it already exists. Let's see it. It is actually in. VPN config. Okay, so it's move it there. Because I've tested this, I didn't override it, but I'm gonna override it now. And I'm connected to my local network, so I'm going to disconnect and connect to to my phone and the hotspot. One thing to note, you also have to allow the port to be enabled on your router. So you have to forward the port on your router to your Synology, otherwise it will not work. But this is, I guess, beyond the scope and covering all the, all the routers would be very exhausting. But I'm sure you know how to do that. Before I connect, one thing to make sure of is make sure that you've got privilege and you can access. By default, whoever installs um, OpenVPN has already access because they're administrator and they can access it. I usually disable all the other protocols and I disable the users that I don't want to have access. So I only want OpenVPN and only to my account. Okay. So let's connect to my phone. Okay, so my public IP has changed. Wonderful, so this is my IP address of my uh, Vodafone phone. 
and if I go back to my OpenVPN, I just right click, connect. I already have pre populated the password. Okay. I'm green, I'm connected. I can continue using my Synology because I am still connected. So that was that, how to install OpenVPN or VPN on your Synology, how you connect, how you configure it correctly and securely. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.